All right, here it is, guys. Um, these guys are raring to go. You can see the two big plecos, especially behind me here. Uh, we just get about a regular size zucchini, nothing big. Costs about 50, 60 cents. Um, we do take off the little stem top because they don't seem to want to eat that part at all. And we do usually wash it just like we would if we were to eat it. A lot of people talk about blanching them or boiling them or something. We, we just wash it off just like we would for us. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this in here. And um, again, it's Sunday evening. And I'm just gonna take a film of it every now and then and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty neat. She's a little bit bigger than the zucchini, but she had, oh, there she goes with her sail up. She's excited now. <laughs> as soon as I put it in, she's like, yep. She'll be on that thing in about a matter of minutes here. So will this guy. Uh, he's about more the size of it, but they'll both get on it and they will start tearing that skin off. We'll be back in a few hours before we go to bed here just to see what kind of progress they make here in a couple hours. They're both pretty excited. You can tell they're up here on the wall. There's the big girl and I think the guy here, but we'll see kind of how things progress here. He's getting bigger. They're almost equal in size now. Um, the reason that we think she's a female is because of her width here, mainly. Uh, but we'll kind of see how things progress. Be back in a in a couple hours, guys. I actually had to come back through this room because I was doing some stuff. About five minutes later, she's already working on the skin. She definitely has a very large mouth. By the time I go to bed in a couple hours, she'll probably have a good majority of this skin off. Uh, he'll probably come help her too. And a lot of these other fish then, especially the clowns will start digging in there. Sometimes the clowns will start working on the end here um, and they'll work their way through and they'll tunnel through and they'll hollow out the inside because the inside's kind of like the soft part. You can see them showing some interest already too. They're gonna start heading up there but again, the cichlids aren't interested in any kind of thing like that because they're more carnivorous, but, and so are the ropes. But uh, these little guys that go up there, sometimes every pleck on the tank will be on this thing. Like six or seven of them all hanging onto it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, she'll clean around that and get in there, but she'll start getting that skin. She'll tear that apart. Look at the mouth on her. I mean, she could eat the whole end of that zucchini if she wanted. What a couple of beauties, huh? Wow. Yeah, there she goes. She's like, all right, get off. <laughs> She's like, get off, dude. It's my turn. <laughs> he came down here. He's like, all right, I'll chill out down here. Eat some algae off this bamboo. The main reason why we put this in here is because if we don't keep them, the, you can see this tank is quite clean. I mean, even though we have lights on constantly and it gets good sun, they, uh, they keep it really super clean. And if we don't put something like this in there, they'll end up kind of chewing on the bamboo, which they've done before. And you can see bite marks on it occasionally. Oh, he tried to get back on. She's like, nope, not today. He'll try later. When she gets tired, she'll back off. Size matters, dude. Now she took a little break. She's like, okay, I had enough. And this guy is working on it. Like I said, he always keeps his sail up, always. If anybody knows a lot about plecos, I mean, these guys do look similar. But it's kind of under the impression this one might be, like I said, a male and the other one a female. But if you could tell, let us know in the comments. It would be great if they bred. But anyway, yeah, so she's taking a little break and he's working on it now. They kind of go back and forth like that. Sometimes they're both on it at the same time. If I get those big, huge summer zucchinis in the summer be three, four times the size of one of these guys. Then they'll all be on at the same time, but they tend to fight with these smaller ones. But once they tear it open, they kind of take turns and stuff. And then this one will work on in up in there. Getting bigger, getting bigger. So one of the main reasons why we have to keep the zucchini and feed these guys, like I was saying, is that the they will start to eat these plants. They don't favor these plants, but they will eat them. You'll notice a lot of them have grown roots here. But they will eat these roots off to the stalk. Now the roots still work. And they kind of keep growing back and they keep eating them off. But they still do function, it appears. However, if I go here and look at this side, this is something I've never seen before. And you can see these, these guys have a lot too. 
and they pretty much eat those off. There's some food floating by because I fed them, but one of the neat things that I just noticed here, I've never seen before bamboo growing underwater like that. I've never seen that happen. I've seen it sprout at the top, but I've never seen it do this underwater, especially so deep. I mean, this is like, you know, three feet deep here. I mean, maybe a little bit at the top or something there, but I've never seen it way down here at the bottom sprout an actual branch. That's clearly a branch growing out of there, not a root. It's very odd. Never seen that happen before ever. Um, I'm assuming it's probably going to get eaten, but I'm going to keep an eye on that. We're going to do an update, so I will continue to update that throughout the week as I'm updating the zucchini. So as you can see, the zucchini usually kind of gets in the uh, filter here, got the hang on the back, it just kind of spins. I'm going to come around here to the side so you can see. It just kind of spins. It's almost like a rotisserie zucchini. And they will just come on up and grab it. Now when I feed the rest of the tank... These plecos do eat the food. They like it, no matter what it is, and they eat it. They have voracious appetites, and they will take a break, but they will go back to the zucchini when the food is done. They will just eat. <laughs> it seems to irritate the other fish sometimes in the way of their food. But they just kind of go around it. But anyway, yeah, it's like a zucchini rotisserie. Isn't that funny? But they've about halfway got through it by morning. It'll probably all be gone. I thought that was really interesting, though. Never really seen anything like that before, and I've had bamboo for years and years and years. So we're going to see what happens with that little nub, that little sprout. If anybody else has ever seen that, let us know in the comments. Kind of cool. All right, it's pretty early in the morning. These guys are just waking up. I got the uh, under gravel alarm clock lights on. I have these set to just kind of turn on. Usually they're blue, but I turned them white last night when I was looking at this. All the parents are waking up. If you haven't seen our video about that, it's in the playlist. It's pretty cool. We have these under gravel lights that turn on. You can see the zucchini kind of rolling around here. She got all the skin off of it. Well, both of them did. and A lot of the outside, too. You can see all the bite marks in there. She's right here. She just actually came off of it. It's now Monday evening. It's been about 24 hours. I was going to try to get some earlier footage, but super, super busy. Uh, you can see that they've done quite a number on this guy. Let me come around here to the side. See all the big nub marks on it. Got about probably a quarter of the way through it already. Um, see it turning into thing there. Let's see how big the one is. She just takes those huge bite marks out of it. Once she gets to the middle where it's real soft, a lot of the fish will start to eat it then. she get to the seeds in the middle, a lot of times the turtle will too. She likes it. But anyway, there it is. That's about 24 hours. Um, makes the water a little cloudy. Not bad. Just kind of the breakdown of the zucchini sometimes, but really not bad. Today, it's looking pretty good. I mean, this is a six-foot tank. You can see pretty far through the other side even with all that and I just fed him a couple hours ago so pretty good um anyway pretty awesome so that's 24 hours just want to show you and try to check it tomorrow morning say good night all right quick morning video update it's a little later in the day so I hit the big lights on you can see here so it's Tuesday morning now she just came off of this when I turned the lights on. You can see here, she's really working on this. See how it gets all nubby? She just takes those big, huge bites out of there and works on those areas. And uh, it's pretty cool. So put this in Sunday night. It's now Tuesday morning. Ice Digi just took a couple bites of it, actually. She'll start to work on these nubs when she does this to it and you can see the inside kind of hollowing out there where the seeds are a lot of the other fish will come along the clown loaches and that see how it looks kind of like a honeycomb type of thing and the other fish will start picking at the soft inside of the seeds and stuff like that so it's tuesday morning about i don't know 
36 hours into it. Usually last a couple of few days, so we'll kind of see what happens. As soon as I walk away, she'll she'll get back to work on it. You're gonna have some? Yeah, a lot of times she'll eat some too. She's not gonna now, because she sees me. As soon as she sees the camera, she's like, I am the princess, so I need to be on the camera. <laughs> All right, it's in the evening. Well, really, about 5 p.m. Iostigi's taking her afternoon nap till I walked in. She's on her little raft in her aqua cave there. Oh, there she goes. She put her head back down. She goes up there and takes a little nap every day. Um, just wanted to do a follow-up here on this. You can see this is about 48 hours now. Well, not quite. I put this in in the evening a little bit, so about you know, 45, 46 hours. Uh, you could see that these guys are pretty much taking that whole middle out. Uh, like I said, when the pleco kind of gets rid of the outside part, they just kind of eat the rest of that middle there. So pretty awesome. I'll check this again before I go to bed here in a few hours and that, and we'll kind of see where it's at. But this is about the 48-hour mark. Check it back in a few hours before I go to bed and see what else they do to it. I'll try to catch these guys in the act. A lot of times these clown loaches will get up in there and they'll, they'll just be all over that thing. They'll tunnel right through the inside there and they'll kind of eat it from the inside out. It's pretty cool. I'll see if I can catch them doing that. She's like, hey, what's up? So this is exactly 48 hours at this point. Uh, I mean, you can see it's pretty much half gone, if not more. They'll probably destroy most of this during the night. So yeah, they usually do last maybe three or four days depending on the size. But you can see the big huge bite marks in there. It's pretty cool how they do that. And it still really hasn't affected water clarity very much. I mean, you know, it, it does pretty well. It's one of the reasons I like throwing them in here is they kind of stay whole and they just kind of eat them away. They don't deteriorate or rot. And um, everybody likes them. ISTG's probably gonna eat some. A lot of times these little flaky parts that break off, she'll kind of eat those a lot of times when they come her way. All right, so now it's lunchtime on Wednesday. Um, you can see that that one half is just a tiny little piece now on the right. And on the left, that's pretty much been hollowed out. So not much left. Again, a big one usually lasts a week, a small one about three or four days. Um, these guys have been getting up there and hollowing it out really good. <laughs> sometimes they're skittish about the camera, sometimes they're not, just depends. But uh, this young lady is doing most of the work here. This one over here is kind of cleaning the heater a little bit, but uh, which is awesome. Always doing a good job keeping the algae off things. But uh, this little one over here on the right was was over there by that filter and was working on that one. But uh, yeah, kind of starts to look like a big piece of Swiss cheese kind of thing. We'll see if it's still there later tonight or if they finished it. It's three days later and it's still there. So we'll see how that grows. I'm gonna be doing updates on that because I've never seen that happen again. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had bamboo grow branches or leaves like that underwater. Again, I've seen the roots, but I've never seen them do that. So that's pretty neat. We'll see if that survives and what happens there because that's new to me. And many years I've had bamboo underwater like this and it's never done that. All right, these guys are pretty much polishing the rest of this off. You can see it's getting really thin there. And it's now Wednesday night. So it's been Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday. About three days. Not much left. You see she's getting in there real good. <laughs> she's getting up in there, getting that soft stuff, eating it from the inside out now. Pretty cool, huh? I still just got to get in the way, though. <laughs> oh, now they're both at it. A lot of times they'll each grab an end and play a little tug of war. Yeah, this will. Oh, she got mad at him. She's like, get out of here. This is mine. <laughs> That's about three days. Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. 
probably by tomorrow morning there won't be anything left. I wish I could have got some of the other fish picking at it and eating it. A lot of times they do. I just was really busy. But I wanted to show this. We'll see what's up tomorrow morning. So Thursday morning now. Just two little flakes left. About three and a half days there. They ate that whole thing. Nice digis up already. She's like, what's up? I'm going to follow up on this little bamboo thing over here. I think I'm going to turn the big lights on. Hard to see. There we go. This little one was inside the goldfish bowl, cleaning it all up. It does not look like anyone ate it. In. It's actually quite a bit bigger. In just a matter of a few days that I noticed it. It's pretty miraculous. I've never seen anything like that. Like I said, and it's getting bigger, so we'll see what happens there. I'm going to do some future updates on this. And see if any, I don't see it anywhere else in the tank. But that's kind of cool. Who knows, maybe it'll grow right up out of there. Or maybe it'll just get eaten. But that's definitely a sign that bamboo is doing incredibly well and healthy. Other than a few little bite marks here and there. So we're going to keep making sure we throw zucchini in here. So that, uh, <laughs> good morning. We'll keep making sure we throw it in here so that they uh, you know kind of leave the leave the uh, plants that are in here alone and the little pieces that kind of fall or get stuck to the filter there it doesn't look like there's any there sometimes the smaller pieces get stuck to there and what will happen is these little guys like that guy right there will all these pair of fish are getting in the way because they want to eat because we didn't feed them yet. They will uh, kind of finish that up. Um, right there you can see also next to that little pleck right there's a little piece of bone. Um, cuttlefish bone, right, buddy? Yes, cephia bone. Yeah, Cold. cephia. We are going to be doing a video specifically on that coming up. We're gonna talk a little bit about those and kind of show you how that works. That, again, is something that we just kind of keep in the tank all the time. They're pretty huge. That's just a little remnant left, and that is for this young lady right here. But of course, the other fish pick at it too, and we're gonna be doing an update on that real soon. So we will see you real soon with that video coming up, and we may do another update on this tank as a, as a whole before then. But uh, she wants to eat. She's following the camera. <laughs> So we'll see you next time, guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.